Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have a little um, holiday haul, I guess. So these are some products that I've um, accumulated since my birthday. So it's been not even a month, but I think I've been pretty good. Um, so I did have some things that I bought with gift cards and and the rest is basically stuff that I got really good deals on so I'm going to share those with you now I guess I'll start with these two random things so I found this Colourpop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Ladybird at Ulta for six dollars and this is the first Colourpop eyeshadow that I've ever owned. I only own like two other ColourPop products. They're lip products though, so I've never actually tried the ColourPop Super Shock formula. It looks like this. It looks so pretty. I'll show you. That's the shade. So it's like a sparkly champagne shade. Let's swatch it. Oh. It's very creamy, looks like this. There's a swatch. It's pretty much like my skin tone, but sparkly. Yeah, you can see it there. That looks really nice. So I actually got this, um, I just saw it randomly, like on a shelf by itself. Uh, I don't know if, I think $6 is like isn't that pretty close to the actual price of these? So I don't know if I actually got a deal. Plus that was American, so yeah. But I'm excited to have one of these finally. And someone was saying in a, in a YouTube video that they love this shade Ladybird. I don't remember who it was though. So when I saw that was the name of this, I was like, oh, I need that. And that's the only thing I bought at Ulta. <laughs> when I went there um, last month so yeah it was a good find though then I found this uh, Too Faced Tutti Fruity what are these called? Fruit Cocktail Blush Duos I found this at Marshall's I think for $12.99 which is very good these are like $34 American I think something crazy like that and this is the shade Apricot in the Act, which is one that I was actually having my eye on. So we can't get the Tutti Fruity collection in Canada because it's like exclusive to Ulta. So I was happy to find this. Look at this packaging. Isn't that so cute? And it smells like apricots. But look at this mirror. It has a little... Oh, it's not focusing there. It has a little apricot and this is the, the These are the shades <laughs> So I think with this thing what I would do is just mix them both together because obviously This is too dark for a highlighter for my skin tone. So Yeah, either you would just like put this as your blush and then like dip your brush in the shimmer shade and do like a blush topper or just mix them both together so I'll show you what it looks like feels very smooth so I hope you can see this so that's the blush it's a nice like as the name suggests apricot shade and that's the shimmery side which is like a bit more orangey peach. But yeah, I think the two mixed together would be super nice as a blush. I just blended them out, if you can see that. Um, I love peachy tone blushes, so yeah. I was happy that I found this shade. The next thing, so if you guys watched my holiday wish list video, I actually got two things. Um, that I talked about in that video. So I got the Fenty Beauty uh, Balm Baby 2 Mini Lip and Face Set. So that's the packaging. Looks like that. So I mentioned that 
When I first saw this, I wasn't going to get it because I thought the lip gloss was an existing shade. But it's actually a new shade. It's called Sweet Mouth. This is the mini size. And I, if you guys have seen my other videos, you would know I love the Fenty Gloss Bombs. So, of course, I had to get this. I mean, you can't really tell because it's a very, like, um, sheer pink shade um, with shimmer, of course. It smells beautiful like the other glosses. Yeah, I really like this shade, actually. It's a bit more, like, light pink compared to Fussy, which is a brighter pink, if I remember. So I'm happy to have that. And the formula is so good because it's not sticky. But it is like thick so you can feel it on your lips. But it's like a gloss that you could put on and it would stay on. And you don't have to keep reapplying it. So that's what I like about those. And then the highlighter it came with is Sandcastle. So that's the packaging. This highlighter is actually... Um, available in a duo in a full size but they just did like this mini one for this set so it looks like this it's like a champagne yeah like a champagne shade maybe a bit darker I'll swatch it that's what it looks like so I thought like this might be too dark for me, but when I swatched it in the store, see it looks like really dark there. But when you blend it out, it kind of like loses that base and it looks more like this. Like a, because it has like some silver in it, it comes off more light. So. I haven't used it yet, so I'll let you know if it leaves like a cast, but I think it's going to be a good shade. And just look at how like smooth that looks. That's the kind of formula I need in a highlighter. I don't like when it looks like powdery and when it doesn't blend into your skin. So I'm excited for this. I forget how much this was. Did I? Maybe I bought this during the VIB sale. I think so, but I, I believe it's like 30 something and then if I bought it during the VIB sale, I can't remember right now, but it would have been 20% off, so yeah, I'm, I just love this packaging too. So that's one item from my wish list. The second item is the makeup eraser. Whoa, I almost dropped it. This set is so cute. And I've always wanted a makeup eraser. So in this um, package, you get the original makeup eraser and two bonus barrettes. So I mentioned in my wishlist video, I really wanted this barrette. <laughs> I've already worn it in some videos, if you've noticed, but I just love it. And the other one here, it's like a gold. You can wear these two together and look really cute. But of course, like the main reason I got this is to get the makeup eraser. And this one has sloths on it. Sloths wearing sweaters. So obviously I had to get it. And I was surprised at how big this is. Look. That's like huge, right? I thought the makeup eraser was like a square, but yeah, I'm glad it's like big like this, so, and it feels really soft. If you guys don't know what a makeup eraser is, basically, you just wet this with water and take off all your makeup just with this. So, like, you're not supposed to need, um, makeup remover, and then you could just, like, throw it in the wash. So, the idea is that you use this instead of using makeup wipes, and it actually says on the box that it's equal to 3600 makeup wipes so yeah i thought this was a really fun deal because it was actually like pretty much the same price maybe a few dollars more to get the set than it is just to get one makeup eraser so 
yeah, these are the barrettes more close up. And this is actually a really good quality one. It stays in your hair. So if you have like thick frizzy hair like I do, um, you would like this one. And this little bag is so cute also. This is still like stuck to it, but it has like a little pearl on the zipper. And I think this would be good for makeup brushes because it's like a rectangle. Kind of forgot that I wanted it and then I saw it at the Isle of Doom and I just had to get it. Um, another item that I got, I'm pretty sure it was during VIB sale. And I didn't think I wanted this um, because I don't usually get the MAC holiday sets. Usually they're like sold out in a day also. So I don't know what's going on if people aren't buying as much makeup or if companies just have realized everything's selling out way too quickly and they've started to make more product. I don't know. But anyway, this is what I got. I love this box. It's just the box that has these stars on it. Um, but this is called the Star Dipped Face Compact in Light. It has two extra dimension skin finish powders. Oh, I can't read this. Let me open it. And it shows you on the back here what's inside. So there is like the light version and then there's like a dark, well, I don't think it's called dark. I think it was called like medium something. But yeah, obviously I should get the light one for my skin um this is the packaging which i love and it's like the glitters don't come off so they're like pretty smooth and then yeah on the back it says two extra dimension blush and one's called dipped in stars the other sipping on stars and then two extra dimension skin finish one in show gold and one in high sequency so wait till you see this. Whoa! Isn't that so pretty? So when I swatched this in store, I was like, well, I have to get that. And this is like a nice packaging. It's very uh, sturdy. It's like a hard plastic. Yeah, just like, look at this. See how it's like embossed? I love it. And I think all of these shades work for me. Sometimes in these kind of palettes, there's like too much of a range where it's like it goes to too deep of a, a highlighter and you're like, I'm never going to use that. But these are, obviously these two are the blushes, which I love those shades. And these two are the highlighters. So I'll swatch them where the stars aren't. <laughs> if I can because I don't want to ruin it it's so pretty and this feels so nice so I guess I'll I'll have to ruin it a bit so the other shade the one that's not white is like a duochrome can you, yeah you can see it there so that's the white shade which may or may not be too white I'll have to let you know once I try it. I mean, when you blend it out, it's obviously not as crazy. And that's the one that has like a pink shift, which is really pretty. And then the blushes. I'm just wiping my hand with the makeup remover. These feel so smooth. Yes, I love these. So, I don't know which is which. If this is in the right order, then I think the pink one is dipped in stars and this more like peachy one is sipping on stars, but I love the, um, the effect of these. I love a glowy blush because it just brings like so much more brightness to your face, I find. So this was like an impulse buy, but I'm really happy that I have it now <laughs> and I just love how it looks. I'll try to use as many of these products as I can in future videos, like a testing new makeup video or something like that, because I know I've been doing a lot of hauls and like not as much makeup looks. <laughs> so stay tuned for that. Um, and then they, Sephora had the like 
what did they even call it the holiday sale like not the vib sale but they just put a bunch of products 50 percent off which was really fun so the first one i got was actually a product that was on my loves list and i needed a a new concealer so i picked this up it was good timing this is the bare minerals bare skin complete coverage serum concealer i got the shade fair which i'm hoping is not too fair because i think this is the lightest one that's the packaging i haven't tried this yet but i'm excited to i'm almost done with my other one. Oh, it's like a a flat like a paddle applicator Ooh, i see why it's called serum because it's very um lightweight Ooh, but yeah looks pretty full coverage too yeah that is quite light that might just be an under eye shade for me because what i've been doing lately is i've just been wearing concealer as foundation um that's what i'm wearing today so i was hoping i could use this like that too but it might be a touch too fair but we'll have to see. But so far, I like how this looks. And it's, it doesn't, it just feels really light and it's not too thick. Like the one I have now is super thick and I can't wait till it's done. <laughs> it's the Kat Von D uh, Locket Concealer, I think it's called. And I've heard really good things about this and it had good reviews. And this was, I think, fourteen fifty, So it was 50% off. So, good deal on that. And the next product was also on my list. It's the Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer from Ciate London. So, I'm going to need a new primer soon also. So, I have to pick this one up. This looks so fun. That's the packaging. Isn't it, like, so pretty? It has these little beads in it, which I was like, what the heck is that? Apparently it's watermelon fruit extract. I'm pretty sure that's what it says here. It says instantly refresh and moisturize before makeup application with Ciate London's Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. Featuring watermelon extract droplets, yeah, to quench and hydrate, the pink jelly base actively brightens whilst refining pores, which I also like. Delicately watermelon scented, this unique aqua serum primer grips foundation for long wear with added glow. So this pretty much is claiming to do everything that I want a primer to do. So I will keep you posted if it's actually good. And look at this packaging. It's amazing. So it's a tube, but a pump. I love that kind of packaging. So let me just see what it smells like. So this was also 50% off, but it was still $24. Okay, no, then it wasn't 50% off because that doesn't make sense. But it was on some kind of deal. That smells divine. It smells like watermelon. I don't know why I'm showing you. It's a clear primer. <laughs> but it has like a gel consistency. That feels like it'd be a really nice summer product. But I'm going to need to open it sooner than that. And I think I just have one more thing. Yes. So this last thing is also something I was like, I'm not buying that. But then it went on sale and I had to get it. <laughs> oh, why am I like this? It's actually this big, huge thing. This is the Sephora Favorites Treat Yourself Self-Care Essentials. So this, when I first saw it, I was like, they want us to pay $90 for a bunch of like, not even full size products. What are they thinking? But then it went on sale for 50% off. So it came to 45. And then I realized this lipstick that is in here is Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk, which I've been wanting forever. And I tried to buy the holiday set that she came out with. I mentioned it in my wish list video. It was the full size of the pillow talk. 
in like a smaller size of the Pillow Talk lip liner. And I was like talking trash about it in that video, being like, this is still $40. Uh, the lipstick itself is more expensive than that kit was. So, yeah. But basically, I paid like the same price for this whole box than I would have just for this lipstick. So, I thought it was an amazing deal. There's some products in here that I already own. And that means my mom is getting some of them for Christmas. So, I hope she doesn't watch this part <laughs> of the video. But, yeah. So, I'll open the box and hope that I can fit it in frame. That's how it looks. I think it's really nicely presented. First thing here is the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Extra Strength Daily Peel. Looks like this. I think it's just... Yeah, it's three treatments. So it says a patented two-step peel with seven acids to help smooth fine lines, minimize the look of pores, improve the appearance of an even tone and texture. I need all of those things. So that's it there. I have no idea how this works, but it's just like these kind of things. So I guess it's like a two-step. Yeah. So exfoliate and smooth. It's like a, a face wipe and then anti-aging neutralizer. That sounds fun. So you get three of them. I don't know how many times you're supposed to do it. Oh, one time daily. Okay, well, obviously. <laughs> I'll have to look more into that because I have very sensitive skin and sometimes I get scared when things say like peeling and, you know, acid. So, yeah, I'll keep you posted on that. The next product, I, I believe I have this already, but I haven't used it yet. This is the Way Texturizing Hairspray. It's a good size for traveling. So, yeah, I'm assuming it's just a texturizing hairspray. Like dry shampoo and hairspray had a baby. This ultra lightweight hairspray that builds incredible volume and texture packed with volcanic minerals to absorb oil and refresh hair. That sounds wonderful. This next product, I don't really like it. I already know because I've had a travel size before. It's this here. It's the Living Proof, the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. It says it actually cleans hair, eliminates oil, sweat, and odor. People love this on YouTube, but the smell of this is atrocious. Like, <laughs> it smells like disinfectant. And when I sprayed this in my hair, when I had the other size, it smelled up my whole house. And Josh was like, what is that smell? And it was this. So... <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's just us, but like, this product has really good reviews, so I don't know. If you guys are into that, and if like the other, like because I don't like that smell so much, I haven't looked at any of their other products because I think they all smell the same, but if you've tried them and you like them, let me know. This one here is another hair product. It's the Bumble and Bumble Hairdresser's Invisible Oil Heat UV Protective Primer. I've had samples of this before and I love the smell of this. So that's redeeming the other one. <laughs> it says Sublime Pre-Styler for a Total Transformation for dry to very dry hair. That is me. And then I've always wanted this, but I've never like bitten the bullet. It's the Beauty Blender Power Pocket Puff. So it's this here. So what you do with this, I don't want to open it because it's in like a sealed thing, but um, I've seen people use this to like blot their face to like press powder into like to set their concealer under eye and there's like a little like band here so you could put your fingers under maybe i'll use this in a video and show you what i mean but i'm excited about this and one side is like a sponge so yeah i'd have to read more about what they actually say you can do with it but i thought this was fun to get in this box 
because everything beauty blender is so expensive. So then we have the lipstick that I've always wanted. That's the packaging of all of these kind of this formula of Charlotte Tilbury. So like I said, it's the shade Pillow Talk. It looks like this. Very nice nude shade. This might be like close to my actual lips. I forgot to put a lip product on. <laughs> I specifically said to myself, oh, I'm gonna wear a bright lip because I didn't put much on my eyes and then I forgot I'm just wearing lip balm. Yeah, I think this would be close to my actual lip color, maybe a bit more brown. So let me give you a swatch in case you haven't seen this already. This is like everyone's favorite lipstick on YouTube. It's this here. I don't remember what formula this is. I think it's the matte formula from what I can tell. It looks pretty matte to me. But her formula is very thin and sometimes a bit sheer so um, you can like leave it like that if that's the look you want or you would have to build it up to get more opacity. And then another good deal is this uh, Sunday Riley Good Jeans. This product, the full size, which is not much bigger than this, is like a hundred and I want to say a hundred and fifty dollars. I'm not sure. I can leave all the prices below so you know like if it's a good deal or not to get the set. I'm actually not sure if it's still available because it did sell out after they put it on sale. So I guess everyone else had the same idea as me and they were like, oh, now it's a good deal. But anyway. This is the Lactic Acid Licorice Root and Lemongrass All-in-One Lactic Acid Treatment. I've had deluxe samples of this and I really liked it, but I never like used it long enough to see like what the full results are. So I'm happy to have this size and actually get some good use out of it. I'm never going to buy the full size of this product though because that's just crazy for a face product. I don't spend that much on my skincare. I do like more high quality, you know, higher end skincare, but that's like too high end for me. The next product here, this is a mini of the Hourglass Caution Mascara. I actually already have a mini of this. I haven't opened it yet, so I don't know if I like it, but apparently it's really good mascara and this is in the shade ultra black this product i think it's so fun that they put it in here this is the best smelling holiday candle i might have ever smelled it's the nest fragrances holiday scented candle it's just a mini but like the full size of this candle is like 80 something dollars <laughs> so it's just a little mini guy in like a still in a glass it's a baby. But this smells amazing. This smells like everything Christmas. Like a Christmas tree scent. I don't know if it says here exactly what it is. No, it doesn't. And I'm terrible at describing scents. But it smells like a Christmas tree. But also like cinnamon. It's just really nice. I'm excited to light like that. But I think I'll save it for closer closer to Christmas. Then I got another one of these. So another product I already have, but I still think it's a good product. It's the Youth to the People Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamins Superfood Cleanser. Could that name get any longer? So obviously it's a cleanser. I already bought the mini of this. It came in a set with something else, I think. But I haven't had to open it yet because I already had some other backups. But I've heard really good things about this cleanser. So obviously I'll use the one I have first and then open up this guy. Hopefully I like it because now I have two. And this is another very pricey product in the full size. I'll leave the price down below because I don't remember it. But I just, I remember seeing it on the app and being like, that's expensive for a cleanser. This next product is uh, something I've been wanting to try forever and I was going to buy the full size of this as my next powder but it's the Too Faced Peach Perfect 
Mattifying Loose Setting Powder Infused with Peach and Sweet Fig Milk. Yes, sounds amazing, right? It's just a little mini guy, but uh, this product is like 40 something dollars in the full size. It looks like this. So powders, I don't use them like all over my face. Sometimes I just press my concealer with them to set it or I use it like to catch fallout and then I swipe it away and with the excess I just blend it like on my cheek here so that when I put my bronzer and all the powder products that it's not like sticking to any base that I wear but this smells amazing and I don't need a new powder right now because I still have my old one but I'm excited to try this. Then we have the Sol de Janeiro. It's not how you pronounce that, but whatever. Uh, fast absorbing body cream. So it's the Brazilian Boom Boom cream that everyone on YouTube is obsessed with. I think I have another one of these, but it's in a tube. I can't, I don't want to open it because I think I have one. The camera cut me off. I'm going to have to go faster because I'm not sure how much space I have. But, um, what was I saying? The aroma. Yes. But anyway, it's like pistachio caramel or something like that. I'm not like super into it as much as everyone else seems to be. But, I mean, it's good to have, you know, when you travel and... It's more like a summer product though. And then the last thing is something I also I have already. It's the IT Brow Power Universal Brow Pencil in Universal Taupe. I actually got this in a boxy charm already, so I won't be using this one anytime soon. But this pencil is like a an oval shaped. And then on the other side, I believe there's a spoolie. Yes. So that's good. Always good to have a spoolie on a brow pencil. I don't know if this shade works for me because I haven't tried the other one yet. But it looks to be like a cool tone taupe color. I don't know how universal that is. Because it's very light. Like it's more like... Yeah. This would be a product more like just to fill in any gaps of your brows. I don't think it's going to add much definition unless you're blonde. But this is another expensive product and it's a full size. So that was everything in that box. Like I said, for $90 I didn't want it. But for $45 it's pretty good. And some of these will be gifted to others. <laughs> and that was everything for this makeup haul. So today is day four of what I'm still calling Vlogmas, but I don't like that name. But hopefully I will be able to keep up with the momentum I've been posting every day. So if you want to see more videos, I hope you'll subscribe if you haven't already and, and give this video a like if you liked it. And I will see you hopefully tomorrow. Bye!